Police tell me this morning's shooting scene is right along a school bus route for Freedom Area schools. That's why district officials say they placed Freedom Area Elementary on a two hour delay to ensure students safety as the investigation was ongoing. That shooting happening inside this home on 5th Street. Freedom Police say several people were inside the home when a witness said someone fired two shots. A man was hit and had to be flown to the hospital. His condition is unknown. This violence is surprising for neighbors like Brittany Gingerella. There's a ton of kids on this block. There's, it's usually pretty quiet. There's usually nothing going on. I haven't seen any kind of activity like this around here, and I've lived here for about three years. Police were able to track down every person that was inside the home at the time of the shooting, including the suspected shooter. But during that search, classes at Freedom Area Elementary were pushed back. My stepmom called me, said that the boys were on a delay for this morning for school, and that she saw a bunch of cop cars, and she asked me if I knew what was going on Freedom. District officials tell me secondary buses were already in transit by the time they were made aware of the investigation. An exterior lockdown went into place when students arrived. They tell me student safety is their number one priority, so that's why the decision was made. In the meantime, police will use search warrants to look for evidence inside the home as they try to figure out what led up to this violent crime. Reporting in Freedom, Caitlin Sykes, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.